in this video we'll be looking at the Mirage 2000 in Metal Storm. I'll be able to give you an overview of its history, design, but more importantly, how do you win with it and how do you use this very specialized aircraft that isn't made for everybody, but it's designed to take everybody down. Now, originally Mirage 2000 comes to you from France as a natural upgrade and replacement to the Mirage 3, which is also available in Metal Storm and the link to its video is going to appear in the corner. Bit of history about the Mirage 2000. It first flew in 1978 in March and by May of that year, it broke Mach 2. Cruising altitude and delta wing give it speed and maneuverability, but also its precision cannons. They'll overheat, but boy, will they hit precisely on target. And if you get Metal Storm on PC, Android or Apple, well, you can get the Mirage 2000 at level 14. Simple design, single engine, single pilot. It's considered as a multi-role fighter with a lack of horizontal tail stabilizer. Its wing acts as that tail. No internal weapon bays, all weapons are carried outside, but its delta wing design is what makes it so special, giving it extreme performance in both maneuverability as well as speed. And boy, does this thing go fast. 1400 kilometers an hour with an excellent turn rate and packs quite a few missiles. A total of six, two close range, which are Fox 2 missiles with a range of two and a half kilometers. These are the Magic 550s. Those Magics are very similar to the Sidewinder missiles on other NATO aircraft. But let's talk about its longer hit weapons. And that of course is the Hunter style missiles. These are the Super 530Ds, but unlike the missiles on the Mirage 3, these are launch and track. You can fire two of them at the same time and launching two is better than one because they will track any targets within a targeting reticle. There is a slight hit on the range of these missiles, seven kilometers, and this makes a huge difference for this aircraft. So stand by for the part of this video where I compare it to other likely aircraft. But let's get back to the weapons of the Mirage. The other weapon, of course, is the cannon. Extremely low spread, extremely high precision, but they will overheat very fast. So you need to make sure there is no spraying and praying with this gun. It is precise, it is controllable, but you cannot wait for it to waste ammo. The special traits of the Mirage 2000, of course, is this delta wing. When you hit the brakes, you get an improved turn rate. Now, of course, you have to make sure that you don't get too slow, but you're able to get those snapshots with your cannons. While you're cruising, well, the Mirage is fast both in real life and in Metal Storm. Climb for altitude above 1500 to 3000, you'll go faster. But coming back to those cannons, they are laser beams. You just have to be sure to control your shots because they will overheat fast. The final thing are the dual fuel tanks under each wing of the Mirage 2000, giving it extra afterburner fuel, which is quite important. We're going to get controversial here about the range of its missiles. Before we do that, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment. That always helps. I think the Mirage will be very controversial because in its category, you've got the F-15 Eagle, the king of air dominance. The Eagle is fast, has lots of hit points and has four Fox-1 manual missiles, which have a range of seven and a half kilometers, which means that the Eagle can launch missiles on you before you're in launch position. Going to level 15, the SU-30 has the radar guided missiles with also a range of 7.5 and a longer lock time, but still this means that he can launch his missiles on you before you're ready. This changes up the strategy of the Mirage 2000 quite a bit. You're at a disadvantage. The only aircraft that you really can beat for range with its missiles is the J-10 Firebird. It's got medium range missiles of 6.8 kilometers. Yep, you can take it on, but there is a very special way of fighting in this plane. Let's take a look at that. In a perfect situation, you're flying your Mirage 2000, you've got the extra fuel tanks, you're burning through them for extra range and speed, and you spot an F-14 that's messing around up high, fire your first missile, and then there goes the second missile. If one gets flared out, the second one will probably get him. The perfect way to use the Mirage is pop up and side shots because you can fire multiple missiles on targets and here one guy gets taken out but he's had to go head on with an enemy and he just destroys me the mirage does not go head on with anybody never ever ever do that every time i try i lose 
Let's try this out again. Hostile on my nose. Missile goes out. Tracks successfully. He does flare it out. Fire another one. And he gets schwacked. Perfect, right? Almost hit the water. Not quite. Hey, there's a guy heading head on with me. What's going to happen? Well, he's going to make a turn. Turn around and destroy me. The Mirage hates taking head on shots. Here's another example. I'm in full health. Bad guy in front of me. Missile one. Missile two. Pretty perfect. And then I can keep working. Now, the missiles are somewhat slow sometimes, but you will have success because you have four of them and you can launch two at the same time. But as soon as I turn to go head on, I'm at full health. Remember, I'm gone. Destroyed. This is the most important tip I can give you in the Mirage. Never, ever, ever go head on. Go for side shots. It doesn't matter if you guys turn out to be an MVP, because before you get there, you will suffer a lot. This video is getting a bit long, so I'll break it up into two parts, with the next part coming up on using the chaff, dogfighting, and doing pop-up attacks to be very successful in this airplane. Hopefully you've liked this introduction, and uh, if you have the Mirage, uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments, because I think it might be a bit controversial, because there's a very special way of flying it that I haven't seen yet in any other aircraft in this game. As always, get Metal Storm for free at Play Metal Storm, and I'll see you guys in the air.